Am Haz's wife, Montecito locals confirmed Chelsea kicked Meg out of the mansion, throwing Archie and Lilibet out in the night. Even though they married in front of the watching world, the Duchess of Sussex has kept a sharp eye on her husband's one that got away, Chelsea Davy. Which is why sources say she was furious to find out that Harry had been in touch with his ex-girlfriend of seven years, who he split from around 2011. According to reports, Harry contacted people from his past, including Chelsea, to speak to his ghostwriter J.R. Moringer, but much to his chagrin, it's understood they mostly refused. According to New Ideas Insiders, Meghan was rankled when she found out he'd hit up Chelsea. Everyone knows he probably would have married Chelsea if she didn't balk at the idea of public life, says a source. It's a fact that Meghan tries to push aside, but knowing they've been in touch brings back all of her insecurities. Recently, Chelsea Davy has delighted her followers by sharing the first image of a baby son, Leo. The 37-year-old, who was previously in a relationship with Prince Harry, welcomed a boy in January. The sweet image appears to show Chelsea looking every inch the doting mother, as she carried a 10-month-old boy in her arms whilst looking towards the sea. She simply put a blue heart emoji in the caption. Chelsea tends to keep a private life away from the spotlight, so this latest post was a welcome surprise. Beautiful blonde Baba remarked one follower, while another added a heart eyes emoji. However, a seven-year relationship with Prince Harry was incredibly public, with most details of her life printed by the press. She's since remained very private about the split. Chelsea also invited Harry to her wedding, however Meghan was not invited. Besides, Prince Harry has reportedly decided to pack his bags and leave due to an ongoing fight with Meghan Markle. These claims have been made by an inside source close to Women's Day New Zealand. According to the source, the couple is currently battling several disagreements over their upcoming projects, from the Netflix docuseries to the naming decision for Spare. Word is he blames Meghan for going off the plan and saying too much of her own truth in the docuseries, and as he learnt from how the Oprah interview was picked apart, her truth isn't always the truth. Before concluding, the insider also went on to say that Prince Harry has every right to be annoyed. They've been working on this rollout of their projects for years, and now there's a real risk of the Netflix series falling apart just like a children's series Pearl did earlier this year. And given the California house's mortgage to the hilt, they need the money. In other news, Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's attack on the royal family has added to King Charles III's feelings of abandonment. It was recently speculated if the new monarch would mend his ties with the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. However, according to royal biographer Christopher Anderson, Charles feels a strong sense of betrayal following the couple's attacks on the firm. During his appearance on Podcast Royal, Christopher said... He's always felt moments of abandonment and I think he feels that now very deeply because of Harry and Meghan. I think he feels very betrayed by the situation that he's receiving all this criticism from the Sussexes. The royal biographer added, I think there's a strong sense of betrayal. It really plays to Charles' sense of being a victim. Why are they doing this? Why is he doing this to me? According to Express, the biographer noted, When you look at how Charles and the royal family embraced Meghan Markle, Charles in particular as he walked her down the aisle when they got married and he befriended Doria Raglan, Meghan's mum. Then all of a sudden they jump ship and are making these accusations about racism. Meghan was also close to the Queen early on. I remember the wonderful train trip they took to Northwest England. They were laughing and smiling, getting along famously, he added.